Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to The Core. My name is Emily, and today is Monday, March 28th, 2016. Let's get things started with a quick update on the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist Nick. The time is now 1230, and the temperature outside is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. With the wind blowing at 8 miles per hour, it feels much closer to 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're, we're experiencing some light showers. Today appears to be the perfect day to camp in the great indoors. Have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks for that update, Nick. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Dominic and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the other side. What do you call a pig that has been arrested for dangerous driving? A road hog. I'm Dominic, and these have been the jokes of the day. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Dominic. Let's go improve our vocabulary with the word of the day. Hi, my name is Alexander, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is subsequent. Subsequent is an adjective. Subsequent is defined as coming after, following in time, place, or order. Following and later are synonyms for subsequent. In a sentence, subsequent can be used like this. In the years subsequent to the war, the town enjoyed peace and quiet. Subsequent, can you use it today? Thanks, Alexander. Now let's go to Robert with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Robert, and this is true or false. True or false, Coca-Cola does not have food coloring. False, Coca-Cola would be green if it didn't have any food coloring. True or false, it's against the law to burp or sneeze in a church in Nebraska. True, true or false. A duck's quack cannot be echoed anywhere. True. Once again, my name is Robert, and this has been True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Now let's take a look at today's brand new stop motion video created by Marina and Trevor, titled The Mermaid Dance. Great work, kids. My name is Jack, and here at Strang Middle School, we do our best to be safe, responsible, and respectful throughout the day. Today, we're going to focus on how to be safe during a lunchtime fire drill. How could you help? Let's see what some students at MESMS would do. One way I can stay safe and respectful during a fire drill is being calm and following directions. I could stay safe during a fire drill at lunch by not talking. During a lunchtime fire drill, I would act calm. If I'm eating lunch and the fire alarm comes on, I would stop whatever I'm doing and then um, wait until um, the teachers give directions. During lunch, if there's a fire drill, I would listen to the teachers and stay quiet. Thanks for that advice, kids. Now let's go to today's words of wisdom. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Today in History. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1797, Nathaniel Briggs patented a washing machine. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on washing machines. Did you know that more than 75% of households have washing machines? Did you know that in the country Leos, they don't have washing machines, so they have to hand wash them? Thanks for watching today's Did You Know. Hopefully, now you know. Thanks, kids. Batman vs. Superman is currently breaking box office records around the world. We were wondering, if you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Let's see what the kids in the halls had to say. If I could have a superpower, it would be so I could fly. If I were a superhero, my superpower would be lasers coming from my hands. If I had a superpower, it would be super strength. If I had a superpower, it would be invisibility. If I was a superhero, my power would be to turn invisible. If I was a superhero, my power would be to fly. If I had a superpower, it would be to breathe underwater. If I were a superhero, my superpower would be to move things in my mind. If I was a superhero, my superpower would be super speed. 
If I was a superhero, my superpower would be super strength. If I was a superhero, my superpower would be super strength. If I had a superpower, it would be, probably be to freeze time. My superpower would be super strength. If I were a superhero, my superpower would be flying. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, New York Town. My name is Lucas, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about the surface area of rectangular prisms. The formula for finding the surface area of a rectangular prism is surface area equals 2LH plus 2LW plus 2HW. Also, the surface area of a prism is the sum of the areas of its faces. Once again, my name is Lucas, and this has been the lesson of the day. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Lucas. That's our show for Monday, March 28, 2016. We'd like to thank all of the students who contributed to today's episode. Join us again tomorrow, and until then, remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful.